let's look at using a resist in your painting. What is a resist, I hear you ask? Well, it's putting something onto your surface that stops the paint from adhering to the paper. And that something is, in this case, a very ordinary piece of wax candle. Clear, white, and make sure it's clean, as clean as you can. So what you're going to do is you're going to rub some of this wax over the surface. I've got three different sorts of paper here. I've got a fairly smooth one. I've got one that's a little bit textured and then I've got one that is really sort of quite light linen. So let's see how it works on different surfaces. So I'm going to take my candle and just rub it in a section over the paper, not pressing too hard. Then I'm going to take some paint, nice and wet, and I'm going to just paint over the area where I have put the resist. And as you can see, where the candle has touched on the surface of the paper, the paint won't go and touch the paper so it won't stain it. Let's see what it's like on one of the other surfaces. I'm using a fairly dark colour so you can see what I'm doing. Can you see? And the one that looks a little bit like linen. And as you can see, once again, the wax has stopped the paint from going onto the paper. And Nicola, you're asking me, when might I use something like that? Well, number of occasions. One thing might be something like this. This painting here is just a little garden study, but here on the gate, I've used the wax resist to give an effect of the old wood down there. How is this working, you're probably asking. Well, it's quite simple. Just imagine that your paper, the surface of your paper, is a bit like that. Okay, I've made it really dark so you can see. And what's happening is that the wax is sticking to the raised bits, like that. And then that means that the paint can only go in the bits where there isn't any wax. That's why we're calling it a resist. Where else might you use it? Well, let's just have a little play, shall we? Let's see. Maybe you're doing a tree. Let's just, um, I'll draw it in so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, something like that. Okay, very roughly, All right? So what you might think, okay, I want to get a nice texture for my bark. So I'm going down, not all over, just on one side, maybe a bit up there and a bit up there. Then I'm going to take a bit of brown, just something so you can see it. And I'm going down there. Oh, look at that. Isn't that fab? And that was a car going by, which is a bit of a pity. Um, I don't have a designated studio, so I have to film as and where I can, best as possible. Okay, so you can see that is one use for it. It's also pretty good on fruit, and we're going to do um, just a rough idea. Um, we'll make it an orange because the colour will be dark, you'll be able to see it. So there's your circle. Again, I've done it dark so you can see it. There's the end there. Imagine the light is coming from that direction. So you want your highlight on that side. So you might say, OK, I'm going to rub a bit and I'm going to dot a bit. And then I'm going to take my colour. Do. That'll do for this exercise. And this is quite a smooth surface paper. But 
you see how you can get all sorts of different textures. So it's quite a nice little technique to work with. Let's go back to the, the medium sort of paper and let's rub a little bit harder. You'll soon get the hang of it, you've just got to play around with it. Let's use that orangey colour. And of course what you could do, if you wanted to, you could let that dry off and then depending what your effect was that you wanted at the end, you could then rub some of your wax over the colour that's when it's dried and then put another colour on top. In fact, let's do a little bit of that. That's not very dry. No, we want something a bit stronger. Here's this really textured. That bit's dry there, so we'll just rub a bit of wax over that. And let's just see what happens. Yeah, okay. So there you are. That is what we call using a resist. Um, go off, have a play and see what else you can do with it.